didn't right. do the assignment. You didn't do the assignment. Oh my assignment. god. Party it tonight. Was my spot. Party tonight. Be there. What time? What time? What time? Um, yeah, just say yeah, party at your spot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you saw it. Party tonight, pull up. Pull up. Okay, so just whenever. But is your brother going to jump in the pool? So in the group chat, though. So we're yeah. getting messed up, though. We got bottles on deck. Yeah. Is okay. your brother going to jump in the pool? Yeah. All right, then. Oh, he's All right, right. there. Right. Right. We got pizza. I'll bring pizza. Hey. I got pizza for y'all. For sure. All right, right. Pizza for sure. Okay. Okay. I'm ready, bro. All right, I'm down. Nine one one. What is your emergency? There's been a crash. There's been a car crash. <laughs> there's two cars in front of Carter High School. How many injuries? Um, there's one person lying on the floor. <laughs> oh my God! Please send help! Please hurry! Please! She's bleeding. She's bleeding really badly. Please. Take a deep breath. Hold on one second, okay? Paramedics and officers are on their way. The real team is paying eleven eighty three just occurred in front of Carter High School, twenty six thirty North Linden. It's going to be a two-vehicle TC, a one-vehicle T-boned. It's going to be a white Honda versus a tan Jeep RFD en route. Okay. 
okay? Keep your head still for me, buddy. down for me. You're under arrest for drunk driving, okay? All right, it looks like we have an 18-year-old female involved in an MVC with multiple injuries. Report from the field is a Glasgow coma scale of three. Let's get her on the monitor, make sure we have large bore IV access. Let's set up to intubate. Go ahead and intubate when you're ready. Let's put her on the BVM and check her bilateral breast pump. We tap. We have a pulse with that. Okay, let's go ahead and start compressions then. Get her on the defibrillation pads. All right, push one milligram of epinephrine IV, please. Epi's in. Epi's in. All right, let's go ahead and charge the pads to 200 joules. Okay. Right now, I'm asystole on the monitor. No pulses. No pulse. No pulse. Time of death, 1359. I wanted to let you know that your daughter, Leslie, was in a very severe car accident. She came in and she was unresponsive. She had multiple injuries. We did everything that we could to resuscitate her, but unfortunately we couldn't, and she died. We're gonna let you come see her. Honorable Katrina West, judge presiding. Mr. Garza, I have before me a felony complaint charging you as follows. Count one, that on or about January 19, 2018, in San Bernardino County, you committed the crime of gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated, in that you did unlawfully and without malice kill Carlos Garcia a human being while driving a vehicle. In count two, you are charged with gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated in that you did unlawfully and without malice kill Leslie Ayala. Count three charges you with driving under the combined influence of alcohol and drug causing injury to Miguel Laris. It is further alleged as to counts one through three, you proximately caused death or bodily injury to multiple victims, Carlos Garcia, Leslie Ayala, and Miguel Laris. Mr. Garza, do you understand the nature of the charges in counts one through three as I just read them to you? Yeah. Yes. And it's my understanding, Mr. Garza, that you wish to enter a plea of guilty to these charges. Is that correct? Yes. Counsel for the defendant, do you join in your client's plea? I do, Your Honor. Do the people concur and accept the plea? Yes, Your Honor. Counsel, do you waive arraignment for judgment and sentence? So waived, Your Honor. Is there any legal cause why judgment should not now be pronounced? No, Your Honor, there are not. Are there any victim impact statements to be made? No, Your Honor. Mr. Garza, before I sentence you, I want to understand something. There is no bringing back the lives of Carlos and Leslie. You've not only taken or damaged the lives of your victims, Carlos, Leslie, and Miguel. 
that you have affected their families, their brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, grandparents, loved ones, and friends. You have forced their parents to bury their own children, a task that no parent should have to endure under any circumstances, especially not due to the impulsive decision of a teenager. Mr. Garza, you are very lucky that you weren't charged with murder in this case. Whether your crimes are referred to as murder versus manslaughter do not matter to me as a judge. I am obligated to abide by the charges alleged in the complaint. If this had been charged as multiple counts of second degree murder, you would have spent the rest of your life behind bars. I sentence you to the aggravated term of 10 years in state prison. Pursuant to People v. Valenzuela, the court finds there to be multiple deceased victims and therefore consecutive sentencing is appropriate. The defendant is therefore sentenced to one-third the midterm of count two, that being an additional two years, one-third the midterm of count three, that being an additional eight months. Regarding the special allegation that you personally inflicted death or bodily injury upon the victims of your crimes, I sentence you to an additional three years in state prison. Total commitment is 15 years, eight months in state prison to be followed by parole supervision as prescribed by law. For almost each year you have been alive, you will spend one in state prison. Your sentence will be an education, but not one you will enjoy. You have my pity, but not my sympathy. My sympathy is reserved for your victims, your victims' families, your own family, and every part of our community affected by your actions. Anthony Garza, you are remanded to the custody of the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department for immediate delivery to the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation. The court is in recess. Thank <laughs> you.